Hey guys, so um, in this in this one right here, this video right here, I'm gonna kind of walk you through a little bit of Bootstrap. We're gonna use a little bit of this right here as we go throughout the project, and I'm just gonna go over just kind of the base portion of how to go through and do it. We're gonna walk through a lot of these sections right here and on different things along that line. So it's basically on the layout, and how to download the content, all these right here. Um, so this video will be a little longer. If you know um Bootstrap, go ahead Bootstrap four, and then go ahead and go to the the new one, and it'll be perfectly fine right there. We can go there. So the star here, so make sure you go to the, the new bootstrap or extension right here. And I'm going to put all these links down to everything you need to know down at the very basic end. I'm going to have a little sheet right there. You can link it to everything there. So the first thing is go to documentation. Make sure you go to getbootstrap.com. And you can see 4.1 and basically the newest version. And the first thing you're going to notice right here on bootstrap, um, we have a couple different things right here. First, we're going to see that we have it where... Um, Basically, this is the introduction. This is going to walk you through if you're going to be doing it on like a, um, just basically where you're not downloading the files and you want to get it going faster, you just install these links into your header. You can just literally copy it and then you copy your JS files, put it at the bottom, put this right here inside the header. And then they kind of give you a starter template of where to start out. We're going to kind of start from here and we're going to add elements as we build and grow. So um, as you see right here on this right here is going to be a simple HTML5 doc type, which is just um, as they simplified it, um, basically exclamation point doc type HTML, um, and then you only have one of those, and you have your HTML, and then what language it is, your header right here, and inside this header right here, um, we're really going to put our title. Um, we might put some other inf SEO information in here, like up here at the meta, and we'll put um, our chart set, um, our viewpoint. This is really really important this allows it to actually be able to scale down properly so this is something that we make sure that's in all of our stuff and we're going to use a lot of um too as well we're going to go back and use a lot of comments so we can basically look back and people can see what we're doing and then next thing we're going to go through right here is go to um our this is our body section right here and then on this body section we're going to go through we're going to do hello world um, this is they just put right here. This is where we our content would be. And at the end of that here, we'll put some of our JavaScript, and then our scripts right here, um, our JavaScript, and we go with that. And then um, we're gonna do have some like our. They'll go through HTML doc type, um, the response to meta tag. The one I said is very important. Um, this is something right here that you really on all your Bootstrap projects want to use. Um, on all these all these um, PHP projects, we're gonna use Bootstrap because um, it's easier to get up. Have your Ruby. Or, a reboot file and also our box sizing um, and kind of go through that part too as well. I'm going to walk you through right now how to download everything. Um, so let's go to the next step. Please. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, hit up to the download session right here. And then right here, this is going to be how you can compile the CSS and the, and the JavaScript too as well. If you're using like a, um, uh, basically a, anything like a um, CSS, you know, any compilers, anything like that right here. Gives you the source files too as well and if you want to break down and look at more of the code and build something yourself and you can do different file comparisons as well and then also too you have your bootstrap cdns again um right here um the same thing we talked about earlier you just throw these in there and then you have um you basically have everything that's required right here for those and then you have your package managers if you want to um, load this up in npm um or if you're using ruby's gem or any composer nugget you can load these up in there so the next thing we're going to go to is the contents. And then on contents we have basically, this is basically how everything is pre-compiled, all the, basically the file structure. And then we go over just um, going through the CSS and food, what's included, and basically what you kind of need. You kind of go through a lot of that stuff right there. So if you want to just use the grid system, you can just get the grid system. If basically these are files are not included, this is files that um, are included. And it just goes over all that stuff right there, um, JSS files and all that. And this is I'm gonna put this link down to as well, so you can go back and reference back to this when you get it when you need to. Um, basically, browser and devices. It goes over. Um, you can find supported range of browsers. All the versions are right, are right here. Then we have mobile. Everything that's supported right here for those devices. Desktop was supported. We have um, the Internet Explorer. So this goes over all anything in 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 the Explorer, anything like that, all that stuff right here. You go more in depth into that. Um, is and then next thing we're gonna go through is, is JavaScript, and then on JavaScript right here, this goes through all all the dependencies you need. Basically, you need popper JS, um, and then this is data attribution. I do that is and everything like that. And then we have our events, and you have a programmable 
program programmatic API. Sorry about that. And then we have on basically where you can do different things, open different things. You, know, you can do a lot of different stuff like that. And you can create that. That is more details. We're not gonna really use that in this tutorial, but um, is there there? Is there if you need? It's going through to as well. No conflicts. All this stuff right here. We won't really. Like I said before, we won't touch on money stuff right here. We're going through most of the basic stuff, but this stuff is there. And basically, all of these other assets right here are other things you can use. Um, but we're going to skip all of these and go straight into the layout. So in the layout se section, we're going to basically learn the concept of containers. Basically, a container is, as as you would think of it, of a jar or something. That's something that contains everything in a certain element and limits it from pouring over and out of that element. So basically, same thing for this one right here as well. You can create containers, and these containers will have fixed widths, or you can make it a full width one that nothing can go outside of it. And this is how you can use the full width, full width, you know, responsive, responsive, or you can, which is with the container fluid, or you can do just container to trap it down to a certain size. Um, basically, you have um here, here are the responsive breakpoints right here. You have basically five, 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 seven, six, and then you have um six hundred and seventy eight, nine, nine two, and twelve hundred. And basically, this is for small devices, medium devices, large devices like desktops and up. And then this is for extra large screens right here. So you can build just specifically for each one of these right here um, on that part right there. And then um, here are basically the media um, right points right here. So this is just, if you want to do media queries. And this is basically going to do if you want to do it at certain sizes. So basically at max size. So anything that is less than this. It would it would have these queries and it use this and you can use this right here to make it more mobile responsive, and basically at your Z indexes, um, this is basically if you want to have use other stuff like that. It has that. We're not gonna really touch on this stuff. Like I said, this part right here might do some media queries, but we're not gonna worry about the Z indexing on these air elements right now. And you have a grid. This is something that we would use in almost every project that we do on this one right here. Um, we're going to do our containers. As you see, we have a row. You basically will have container, row, and columns inside of that row. And then you can have basically um, this right here is walking through how if you put columns small or whatever you want to do on this side. So basically, you have SM for small, and then you have medium, MD for um, medium, and then also too, you have um, LG for um, large and XL for that. And also too, you have X, XS for um, extra small devices. Um, which actually on, on Bootstrap 4, you actually have to put that, just put column, and you just put whatever you want to put down, and then it loads down to that. But basically, you go through all that, and then to this walks you through kind of going through all the stuff you need to do if you want no gutters, but should be no paddings on the left and right sides. That's how you do that there, and then you have your grid options. And this is going to be your extra small, your small, and then it's going to be your medium, and it's going to be your large, and you see that right here is all of the pixels that you need to go between those right there. Um, it's pretty simple in that part. You can have equal widths right there if you just use column, 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 and then it'll just find the width and it'll make each one equal and you don't have to put anything there. And that's pretty interesting what you can do right there too as well. Um, you can do column right here. You can do a uh, break in the column. So you want to do a width of 100 and basically you can put like a little um, break between each other. So, so you want to do something right here, right here, and then you want to space it out and then put something right here. You can do it something right in the div right here. Um, if you're going through and you don't know the size of what size you want this to be or, or if you want this one to be, you basically need to call them, but you know that this right here needs to be at least half, then these right here were spaced out equally for those right there. Um, it's pretty interesting to do right here and it really works well when you're doing something fluid that needs to change over time and quickly. That This right here works the best for that. So um, we have variable widths right here. You can do column MD auto, which is right here will be um, basically, it will be the size. It will auto generate the size based off of the other content around it. Um, you do a, you can do other variable ones too as well. You can do a lot of different things on that line right here. Um, as you see, is right here, and they walk you through all this stuff. Um, basically, you have all your breakpoints. You can stack horizontally, like how you see on this one right here. How they can be stacked exactly how they need to be. Um, you can mix and match them up how you want to. Alignment. Um, they have tons of stuff on here. We're just going to touch on most of the stuff at the beginning. You don't really need to worry about that part. So let's go to media objects. So this is going to be, um, this right here is going to be like your images and you can make um, different little things like this right here. They already have it pre-built inside of it. And then also too, if you're doing something along the lines of like a form or um, or like F-O-R-U-M form um, where people are messaging, you have nested threads and everything like that, you can use this one right here 
and you can nest down on the threads. You can also align too as well um, by doing align self start start um, or doing other objects right here or align self center as well. Um, there's tons of different ways you can do it right here or line stuff at the end. So this is basically specifically for the image in this one. So as you see, it goes from top to the center to the bottom. And then ordering right there and you have media lists you can do, which are pretty cool. Uh, we might do a couple of these right here to show a couple of different things when we do our um, maybe like a basic website. But um, this right here is it is there. And you have your utility, which is your displays, your flex boxes, margin. It helps you read more into that things right there. Basically, turn your display into flex. Different things you can do along that line right there. Um, it's different things you can.